गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ सीमोस लॉजिक ओके सो विद द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ बोथ एन एंड पी ट्रांसिस्टर्स वी कैन डिजाइन अल्टरनेटिव टू इन्वर्टर बेस्ड सीमोस लॉजिक ओके एंड वी हैव सो मेनी डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ सीमोस लॉजिक इज देर वन इज सूडो एनमोस लॉजिक एंड डायनामिक सीमोस लॉजिक एंड क्लॉकड सीमोस लॉजिक सो क्लॉक सीमोस वी आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सी स्क्वायर मॉस बिकॉज क्लॉक इज ऑल्सो सी सीमोस इज सी इज इज दर नो दैट्स वाई दे कॉल्ड सी स्क्वायर मॉस लॉजिक एंड ऑल्सो कॉमन सॉरी सीमोस डोमिनो लॉजिक एंड एन पी सीमोस लॉजिक ओके एंड दीज आर द अदर forms of cmos logic so now we'll discuss about the so first one is pseudo nmos logic here so this is the circuit of pseudo nmos logic in nmos circuit uh, in nmos circuit if the pull up network so this is the top one is the pull up network isn't it so this top is a pull up and the bottom is a pull down network okay so here the depletion mode uh, so in the inverter you see you no know, uh, in the you know uh, in the nmo circuit here we are used depletion mode of transistor depletion mode of nmo transistor we are used uh, when uh, you are you are cons- uh, you are uh, designed for nmo inverter no that type but here we are using pmos pmos circuit only pmos circuit only we are using for the pull up okay pmos transistor we are using and the bottom as usually here the uh, three input we are considering because here series is connected so this is the nand operation no if series is connected means so that is a dot will come that is a um, um, multiplication product will come uh, like uh, a dot b dot c like that okay so that's why it is a nand operation three input nand circuit it is okay so this total block we called as an n block okay so here the in uh, in most circuit if the pull up networks with a uh, depletion mode transistor is replaced by pmos transistor okay and the gate connected to vcc and here the gate no so this is the gate and this is your source and this is your drain okay this is the pmos circuit the pmos so this is the source okay and this is the drain and this is your gate so the gate is connected to ground vss and the source is connected to the vdd and uh, the drain is connected to the output okay so this structure is called a pseudo nmos logic okay so this is called a pseudo nmos logic this logic helps in reduce the number of transistor okay so it will be reduce the number of transistor seen in the cmos logic pull up network okay so from the figure so here here we are using three input nand gate so i already told no so this is the three input nand gate we are using we are designing the three input nand gate using pseudo nmos logic so as per the pmos is connected to vss okay the here the pmos is connected to vss the the gate is connected to vss it can be either a saturation or active region okay it may be a saturation or active region uh, active region active region the status of the nmos at the pull down network depends on the state of the input okay when all the inputs are zero okay we are considering when all the inputs are zero okay if all the inputs are zero means so what it will the happen uh, when all the inputs are zero the pmos will be on so you know the pmos is strong in zeros and weak in ones so that's why when all the inputs are zero the pmos will be on and the output is and the output is pull up to vdd okay so the pmos will be on whenever the input is low the output is pulled up to so this is a pull up no so pull up to so pull up means like this pull up to vdd 
okay so pull up to vdd with the other data pmos acts as a current source that is in saturation okay the output is now the product of the resistance of the pull down network and the current of the pull down network okay in order to obtain the required ratio okay if you want to the required ratio you are consider the pseudo nmos inverting being a driven by the another inverter so see this is the if you want to require the ratio so what we will be you we have to do the arrangement is considered in a pseudo nmos inverter is being drive driven by the another so this is the one one pseudo okay so this is the one pseudo nmos logic so we are considering only one transistor and one pmos transistor okay so one pmos and uh, one pmos and uh, one nmos so this is an uh, pseudo nmos so this will be driven to the another okay so same again have to connect to the same circuit so the first circuit is driven by the second circuit okay uh, from the similar inverter we are using so, so similar we have to use okay for the analysis okay for analysis taking a condition suppose suppose v in okay so if it is in v in is equal to vd by 2 okay so here we are just uh, assuming and uh, for analysis purpose the condition v in okay is equal to vd by 2 in this condition the nmos device is operating in saturation reason so you already learned this one in first uh, first model okay uh, the saturation means so zero is less than of vg vg sn so the zero is less than so here it is there see here the saturation condition that is zero is less than vg sn minus of vth is less than of is a less than of okay vd sn okay so and the pmos is operating in linear region uh, linear region we also call as a resistive region so here that is in zero is less than v dsp is less than so that is a drain to source that is a less than gate to source vgsp minus vtp so there is, this is a threshold point okay so equating the current so we just equating both the equation equating the current of the nmos and pmos with a suitable arrangement okay the final vacation we get it is so v in is equal to so v in is equal to what will be the equation so v inverter is equal to v in plus 2 into mobility of the pmos is divided by mobility of nmos with respect to 1 over t 1 over 2 into so minus of vdd minus of vtn into vdsp minus of v square of dsp with a whole with a whole 1 by 2 is all divided by so the pull up impedance is divided by pull down impedance into the 1 by 2 okay so this is a final equation we got so zpu is equal to you already know no the impedance of the pull up transistor pull pull up is what lp is a uh, length of the pmos is divided by width of the pmos and zpd is a z uh, pd is a pull down so that is equal to uh, length of a nmos is divided by width of nmos okay so this is the this uh, ratio you know and come to here these are the assumption so if it is suppose i already told no if the v inverter is equal to 0 0.5 times of vdd okay so what is the vdd here 5 volts okay so how, we, how much you will get 0 0.2 vdd okay so v so v threshold is equal to how much we got 0 0.2 vdd okay then vdd is equal to 5 volts then uh, mobility of the so these are the assumptions values so the mobility of the nmos transistor is equal to 2.5 times of mobility of the pmos sorry mobility of pmos okay then the finally zpu is divided by 
so zp is divided by zpd is equal to 3 by 1 so actually here i am cons we are considering 3 is to 1 and each equally we are considering 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 okay so this is a 3 is to 1 and these are the 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 so here see here so that's why so the pull up is 3 and the pull down is 1 okay so this is the equation and then uh, so if you conclude this one the overall we can conclude that the we can conclude the the sheet resistance of the channel of the pull up network is about uh, 2.5 times of pull down network is also ratio of the pull up network and pull down network is pull up and pull down is equal to 3 is to 1 so with these pseudo nmos exhibits resistance of the about uh, it takes uh, 85 kilo ohms compared to the resistance of 50 kilo ohms okay with the nmos device okay these uh, helps in reducing the power dissipation so up to 60 percent we can reduced so with the higher pull up resistance the delay is larger okay so by 8.5 is to 5 then 4 is to 1 okay so nmos inverter okay so this is the pseudo nmos logic okay thank you